Having the dual analog sticks um, for resistance uh, Burning Skies, especially the multiplayer, I mean, first and foremost, it lets you kind of aim the camera. It gives you kind of that true first-person shooter experience that we've come to expect on the console machines, now on a portable machine, so I can look and I can aim at the same time. It allows us to kind of make that kind of console-style experience on the Vita as authentic as possible. So in Resistance Burning Skies multiplayer, there's a wide variety of weapons, um, kind of both Resistance Universe staples like the Bullseye and the Carbine, and some newer weapons, uh, the Hunter, which is a Chimera Pulse Rifle, the Mule, which is a cross, a shotgun fitted with an explosive crossbow secondary fire, and all of these guns, uh, these and more guns, all make use of the Vita's uh, touch panel to kind of make use of the secondary. So for like the Bullseye and the Carbine, you know, tap the screen where you kind of and let it go and that will be where you fire the tag or in the case of the carbine where you fire the grenade. There will be three modes in the final version of Resistance Burning Skies. There's a deathmatch and team deathmatch, kind of multiplayer staples, and then survival mode which is a little bit more of a unique mode that we're not talking about so much today but will be soon. Resistance Burning Skies makes use of Nier in a very interesting way. Uh, you can kind of infect other people in this infection mode. Uh, so you're kind of around your friends near, and you know, I'm a chimera. Well, I can choose to infect other people and kind of gain XP bonuses. I can also, if I'm human, kind of rally other humans to my cause. And it's kind of a cool little social way to kind of let your friends know, hey, I'm playing Resistance Burning Skies via Nier and the Vita, but also kind of bring them potentially into the game a little bit. Uh, you'll be able to use infrastructure Wi-Fi. Um, there's kind of full matchmaking, both party and just standard public. So if you want to just form a party and go play games with your friends um, in party matchmaking, which is what we were doing today, kind of having all these Vitas in a party, you can do that if you just want to go online and play against other people, be matched against people of your relative skill level. Uh, you know, if you want to mix and match where it's like, all right, I got a few people in my party, but we'll open it up to other people, you can do that as well. A new play experience on the Vita is just cool. And you'll see for yourself on May 29th when it's available.